Planet Poetry. Hmm. Uh, I wrote Planet Poetry after the first time when I saw uh, Love Jones. And Love Jones really inspired me because I didn't know that they had places that had these open mics and they were, you know, doing this incredible poetry. And, and I was listening, you know, as I you know, watched the movie and I was listening to the material that was being done, and especially the piece by uh, uh, Lorenz Tate. And so after that movie, I challenged myself to write something like that. And then I got some great advice from a friend of mine, uh, Ronnie Mack, who was, uh, he's an incredible poet. Uh, he told me he liked the sound of my voice and he loved my lyrics and that I should just speak. I should just talk using my normal voice. And so that was very uh, instrumental in me writing that piece. And so I attribute that to, um, the first time I ever saw Love Jones. Planet Poetry. As I tune into the soothing sounds of Boney James, depicting each frame, the melody captures me, injecting my brain with cosmic energy where you're filling me and in comes that window of opportunity where I Exonerate misconstrued thoughts into a manuscript form of expression and enter into a tranquilized atmospheric chamber armed with a pen and pad in hand to labor, releasing my galactic and uncontrollable imagination. Escaping into words and phrases that may go on for pages and sometimes nights and days and excelling tones of peace and love and hate and rage. Tasting the bare fruits of linguistic references as my tongue spits out premeditated, educated, contorted, and metaphoric sentences that consciously make sense. And I call myself a poet, jotting down lines of climatic details from triumphs to misguided betrayals, intending to create options of tangency. And it's mentally undetermined from where you sit, critiqued as a soft-spoken lady or a cold-blooded bitch. But then again, we're on planet poetry. It's that hidden place in the back of your cerebellum where intellectual fragments congregate and formulate. I reckon I write and recite my mind's frustrations as compensation for supplying God's given knowledge to refugees from ignorance's closet.